Okay. In question number 27, two blocks of different masses A and B, A and B are pushed again a wall and they have asked what is the friction force over here. As you know this body is in equilibrium, so net force will be zero on this body and if you consider both as a single body because there is no relative motion and none of them is moving, so we can consider them as a single body and the friction over here will be static because there is no slipping and static friction does not depend upon the friction coefficient, static friction depends upon the, upon the fact that how much friction is required. If you see the mass of the first body is 20 Newton and the mass of the second body is 100 Newton. So, the weight of the complete system is 120 Newton and it would be balanced only by friction force. The so friction force by the wall has to be 120 Newton. You can do this question by separate free body diagram of A and B, but we can do it directly by assuming them as single body. Okay. In question number 28, we have given a cylinder, long cylinder with half part is positively charged and half part is negatively charged. So obviously this cylinder can be treated as a dipole, dipole in this direction, this will be a P vector minus 2 plus and if you see the electric field at this point as in this, in this diagram, electric field in this point will be in downward direction. At this point, it would be in upward direction and at this point, it would be upward direction and at this point, it would be in upward direction again. So, by this, four points, you can see the only one option, which is option number two, option number two, which is given like this, the positive charge, the electric field lines are given like this, is correct. So, answer of this question would be option number three answer of this question would be answer number three. Okay. I'm going to be two bold